I bet you've been hearing a lot about artificial intelligence lately. Maybe you're hearing people talk about things like ChatGPT or BARD, but you're trying to figure out, is this a passing fad or is this something you should really pay attention to? Today, we're gonna to talk about how AI will impact business in the future. We're gonna look at three ways that AI is likely to transform businesses from organization to employees to customers. First, we have to define what AI or artificial intelligence is because most of what we hear about now is generative AI like ChatGPT. And the reason we're hearing about it is because it seems to be displaying creativity like humans, which it's not, but we'll get more into that in a moment. Let's look at artificial intelligence as a whole. All AI is, is technology that's been fed a incredible amount of technology. So it's then able to analyze that information and give us insights or even predict future patterns. Generative AI, which are things like ChatGPT that you've been hearing a great deal about, is a subsect or a certain type of AI that recognizes patterns. It's been fed information, probably not as much as most people think. It's not the most recent information. It's not trained on the entire internet. In fact, technology like ChatGPT is trained on a very small percentage of the internet and open source materials. But what makes it interesting is that because it's been trained on as much as it has, it can predict what humans most likely would say or want to hear. That's why you can ask it to write a song about Mr. Rogers using Shakespeare-like language, and it can do it immediately. It's looking at the information it already has on that type of language, crossing it with what it knows about Mr. Rogers, and it's simply spitting out patterns based on what it thinks you want to hear or know. That's why technology like ChatGPT and other generative AI do something called hallucinate. It's important that we know that this happens. Now, if you don't know what hallucinate means in terms of generative AI, let me ask you a question. Do you know anybody that's super smart, but when they don't know the answer to something, they just make up something that sounds smart and try to pass it off as the truth? That's pretty much what ChatGPT does. If you're not very careful, it'll give you misinformation. It'll tell you that it's citing a book that doesn't even exist because it's like that smart friend. It's predicting what it thinks you want to hear and it's not willing to tell you typically, I don't know. The next thing you want to know about AI is that it's more accurate than humans in analyzing data. I'm going to give you two examples. Number one is a study that was published in Nature Magazine in 2020. Researchers developed an AI model that outperformed human radiologists in detecting breast cancer from mammograms. The second one is an example that I've used in another video that was called Law Geeks, and this was AI technology that was created to do some of the functions that lawyers normally perform. In a test where they tested the Law Geeks AI against the attorneys to spot check issues with five NDAs, they found that the Law Geeks AI was 9% more accurate, and instead of taking over 90 minutes to analyze the five NDAs like the lawyers did on average, it took it just over 20 seconds. So again, one of the strengths of AI is it can be much more accurate in analyzing data than humans are. I'm curious to know how much interaction you've been having AI. So I'd love for you to pause for just a moment and go over into the comments. Are you using things like ChatGPT or BARD? Have you used any type of AI in your career or in your business? I'm curious to know what are you using now and what do you like about it and what don't you like about it? Let's look at the three ways that AI is likely to impact businesses in the future. Number one, it will definitely provide improved data analysis. So when it comes time to making strategic decisions for your business, rather than saying, oh, I remember clients have been saying this or they write this on the comment sheet, that's all anecdotal evidence. It doesn't mean that it has no value, but it's much more valuable to look at the actual behaviors of our clients versus the things that they write down in reviews. So for instance, rather than just looking at a customer's feedback at the end of a hotel stay, you might be able to track all the different outlets that they visited, what time they left the hotel, what time they came back, how much time did they spend watching this show, how much did they spend on food service within the hotel, are there particular menu items that are in higher demand certain days of the week. We've always had the ability to analyze food demand, but the level of information that we have is greater now that we have AI that can look at all of the data. Number two, we're definitely going to see increased job automation. I gave two examples earlier from white collar jobs where 
AI actually outperformed the white collar professionals. One of the interesting things about AI and robotics and automation is that I think we all remember 10, 20 years ago where people were saying blue collar workers were gonna be automated out of work and they really needed to upskill and work harder and find other places to go so that they could still make a living. What we didn't plan for, many of us, was how aggressive AI could take the place of many white collar jobs as well. If you're looking for something entertaining and interesting, go to Will Robots Take My Job. On this website, you have the ability to do a search for all kinds of different jobs to see what the likelihood is, according to this website, of that job being automated. And it explains the mathematical process for how it calculates that. But understand that many jobs will be automated going forward into the future. We've already started to see it and we'll continue to see it increase even in areas we may not expect. I don't know if you recently saw the company that introduced robotic nail painters. So now instead of going to the normal nail tech to get your nails done, you can actually go into a business and a robot will paint your nails. One of the more interesting things is seeing the public reaction to that particular robot. Most of what I've seen has actually been pretty negative. People wanted that human to human connection when it came to getting a manicure. And so we are going to see increased automation but we're also going to see this friction with some of those customers maybe not wanting that automation. That brings us to our last point, which is customer service. How will AI impact customer service in the future? Well, in terms of customer experience, it definitely has the ability to make it better because we have access to so much data. And so think about having a customized end-to-end -end experience, whether you're talking to a new financial advisor, whether it's an online shopping app, whether it's buying a car just through your computer or maybe even getting a specialized itinerary for your next trip. If you haven't used any form of AI, I wanna encourage you to go online right now and do a search. If you haven't used ChatGPT, go ahead and try the free version. Same thing with Bard. There's other types of AI that are available for you as well. If you wanna play around with pictures, try Dolly, D-A-L-L-E, or even Midjourney. But the best way to be prepared for the future and to see how AI will impact it will be for you to spend a little time playing with it and just being open to the possibilities. Technology is much like money where it's neutral. If you take someone that's extremely financially astute and has a good heart and you hand them money, they're gonna find ways to be blessings to other people and to also grow that money. If you take someone that's irresponsible and has issues and you give them a great deal of money, they're going to produce more issues with it and create more problems. And AI, like any other form of technology, is completely neutral. We just have to be mindful of the hearts of the people that are using it and hold them accountable. Because you've probably noticed, we're currently playing the game as the rules are being written. Now that we spent some time looking at how AI will impact business in the future, we wanna make sure that we're future ready on all fronts. As such, I have a free gift for you. The Future Ready Playbook. This playbook is chock full of all kinds of good activities and worksheets that'll make you think strategically about the future and what things you need to do now so that you'll be ready for whatever's coming your way. To get a copy right now, look at the description and click the link in there.